Hello YouTube, this is Veteran Mountain Man again, coming to you today with our Cultural Marxist of the Month Award. And this month, my award goes to none other than Don't Shoot PDX and Black Lives Matter PDX. And so why have they gotten this award this month? Well, for those of you who have been paying attention to my feed, earlier this week, I posted a, a podcast about them getting kicked out of the city council meetings and about the fact that Mayor Ted Wheeler has passed a new city council ordinance allowing the ejection of individuals who are disruptive for up to 24 hours so why did Mayor Wheeler have to pass this new statute? Well, the old one was shot down back in the 1990s, and Don't Shoot PDX and Black Lives Matter PDX have been interrupting every single city council meeting since January this year when the new mayor, Ted Wheeler, took office. Prior to that, they had been interrupting meetings with the former mayor, and now they are interrupting the new mayor. The new mayor has only been in position for about three months. And he has not yet been able to do an entire city council meeting without disruption. Not yet. Every single city council meeting to this date has been disrupted by Don't Shoot PDX and Black Lives Matter PDX. Now these are the Portland chapters of these groups, not the national chapters, not the international chapters, which how we ended up with international chapters of Don't Shoot P uh, and Black Lives Matter is beyond me because these organizations were founded in response to the Michael Brown incident in Ferguson, Missouri, and some of the other incidents in the past year in the United States. So why there are chapters in Canada and Britain and areas of Europe make absolutely no sense to me. Although, you know, the Black Panther movement has seen plenty of ground in Africa. That makes perfect sense. Maybe, maybe that's a clue. Anyhow, these groups have continued to cause problem after problem in the political arena and refuse to make any kind of compromise or see any kind of alternate position than their critical race theory concepts. That means that these groups are effectively being completely obstructionist as citizens. Now, here's part of the problem. The statute may yet again be declared unconstitutional, even though this time there is no statute for banning a person permanently, and before there was. However, I am pretty sure that one of the Ninth Circus leftist activist judges here in the Pacific Northwest is going to rule in favor of Don't Shoot and Black Lives Matter PDX. And here's why. They are going to state that they are not being dangerous by shutting down the business of Portland Metro City Council. Now here's the problem. If the Portland City Council can't conduct public business meetings, then the city is effectively shut down for city government. That means that nothing works, people. No road repairs. No sewage maintenance. No administration of city tags and permits and requirements. The less we can effectively govern, the less can be changed. So shutting down the government is not the solution to fix disagreements. Yet it is unlikely that PDX don't shoot and Black Lives Matter PDX will understand this. Anyhow, we're going to have to wait and see. So I want to thank you all again for joining me here today on YouTube. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. I will be posting another Cultural Marxist of the Month next month. 
If you have recommendations for me, please leave them below in the details. Please leave a comment. Uh, the requirements are they must be performing acts of cultural Marxism that are having negative impacts on culture or society. Thank you all again. Remember, you can join me at minds.com forward slash veteran mountain man if you want to engage in discourse on this or leave a comment below. I read all of my comments as best I can, so I will try to get to you when I can. Thank you all again and have a lovely Sunday.